Stingray Mod 1 is an air-launched anti-submarine warfare lightweight torpedo launched from frigates, helicopters and maritime patrol aircraft against submarine targets of all types. It has sophisticated acoustic homing system and a highly accurate navigation system. The torpedo can detect, classify and attack targets autonomously. Stingray Mod 1 features a completely new sonar system, an insensitive munition warhead, a new tactical and navigation system and a new seawater battery system. It has low through life costs and requires no intrusive maintenance throughout its service life. A key feature of the Mod 1 torpedo is its new digital homing, guidance and control systems, which through a combination of modern computer technology and advanced software algorithms extends the operational capability of Stingray into the complex shallow water environments in which our Navy now has to operate. As the prime contractor for the Mod 1 production program, Bay Systems will have overall responsibility for the weapon's operational performance and will draw the majority of manufacture from across British industry. The company has also established a subcontract partnership with the Defence Munitions Depot, Gosport for the conversion and upkeep of Stingray to the new Mod 1 standard. Overall the program is a true reflection of MOD's smart acquisition policy in exploiting industrial capability and MOD assets to provide a very cost-effective through life solution for the UK's future lightweight torpedo. Bay Systems employs nearly 100,000 people including joint ventures and has annual sales of around a 13 billion pounds. The company offers a global capability in air, sea, land and space with a world-class prime contracting ability supported by a range of key skills. Bay Systems designs, manufactures and supports military aircraft, surface ships, submarines, radar, avionics, communications, electronics, guided weapon systems and a range of other defense products. Stingray Mod 1 was designed to defeat the dual threats of fast, deep-diving double-hulled submarines operating in the oceanic environment and the quiet, conventional submarine in coastal waters. The enhanced performance of Stingray Mod 1 is underpinned by the development of new acoustic and tactical software. Drawing on knowledge gained from extensive in-water trials with the Mod Zero weapon. The performance of torpedoes is highly classified, but it is generally believed the latest Mod 1 Stingray is superior to the Mod 0 MK-52, especially in complex littoral environments against small conventional submarines. It is hoped the Stingray will eventually be integrated with P-8A. It also equips Norwegian Navy frigates and helicopters, but there is no commitment to do so at this stage. The United Kingdom is to arm its fleet of Boeing P-8A Poseidon MRA-1 maritime multi-mission aircraft with the domestically developed Stingray torpedo. The Ministry of Defence announced the decision on 30 November, saying the British-built Stingray will be used alongside the US-built MK-54 torpedo that was delivered as part of the US government's foreign military sales package. The program to integrate Stingray Mod 1 onto Poseidon is now underway, the Ministry of Defence said. According to the Ministry, the decision capitalizes on investment already made in the torpedo. Five torpedoes can be carried in the Poseidon's small weapons bay and will eventually be capable of being delivered from medium-high altitude, up to 30,000 feet. Boeing has the contract to build a glider kit for the MK-54 torpedo, the High Altitude Anti-Submarine Warfare Weapon Capability or HAAWC. HAAWC integrates an air-launched accessory kit with a GPS guidance system and folding wings. This will allow the launch of the weapon from up to 30,000 feet under operator control, so the torpedo can be put into the water with precision and at considerable distance from the aircraft. Dropping the weapon is, of course, the relatively easy part of the kill chain. More importantly, the UK Poseidon force must be able to demonstrate they can detect, hold and classify deep submerged targets using a field of multi-static Sonoboys. Although the performance in such trials are highly unlikely to be publicized. A video was recorded of the successful test which showed the Merlin helicopter from 820 Naval Air Squadron flying over the water before deploying the torpedo. A Royal Navy helicopter has successfully launched a torpedo as part of a training exercise conducted with the United Kingdom Carrier Strike Group. 
Ships and aircraft in the carrier strike group often train together with the primary objective of ensuring that the aircraft carriers are protected against submarine threats. The strike group is currently being led by HMS Queen Elizabeth, which is crewed by 900 sailors and carries with her F-35 Lightning II stealth fighters and Merlin and Wildcat helicopters. The Merlin helicopter dropped a Stingray torpedo during the exercise which was being carried out to test external weapon processes and internal delivery systems. The Stingray torpedo was dropped from the base of the helicopter before a small parachute attached to the projectile was opened. The torpedo struck the water at an angle, allowing it to continue toward its target. One of the main purposes of the Merlin helicopter is in airborne anti-submarine warfare. Royal Navy's Type 23 frigate Kent successfully launches Stingray torpedo. On September 27, 2022, HMS Kent flexed her muscles after the summer break by firing up most of her weapons systems including the rare launch of a torpedo. The Portsmouth-based frigate sent high explosive shells hurtling out of the main 4.5 inches gun to calibrate muzzle velocity they should burst out of the barrel at more than twice the speed of sound. Test fired machine guns both on the ship and her Pacific 24 seaboats. Streamed out her sonar 2087 towed array a 1,700 meters tail, lined with hydrophones and Kent's best ears when hunting submarines and firing off a stingray. One of two weapons she uses to take out those underwater threats. Stingray is principally launched by a Merlin MK2 which can also drop depth charges to deal with hostile submarines. Ideally, the combination of Sonar 2087 and Stingray armed Merlin should keep underwater threats at bay. Well out of range of striking distance of Kent. But if not the ship carries horizontal launches just forward of the Portsmouth frigate's hangar which use high pressure to propel Stingray out of its tube. Before the small drogue parachute deploys to slow its entry into the water. Thereafter, the torpedo packing a 100 pounds explosive charge to ruin any submariner's day races through the water at more than 50 miles per hour until it strikes its target. In this instance, the explosive charge was replaced by concrete in a training variant of the torpedo, which was recovered at the end of its run.